I'm sorry, I'm gonna grab another one of these. I think they're amazing. Have you tried them? It's just, uh... Third bake sale this month, huh? Power chair is an expensive sport. There are entry fees for meats, transportation, uniforms. And don't forget the hair bows. You raised all this money from bake sales. Our cupcakes are very good, sir. Oh, Zoe, they're, they're having. I wish we could tell people we're making all our money from Degrassi nudes. I'm sure Mr. Simpson wouldn't mind his cheerleaders oom chatting their tatas for dollars. Sorry, we're like gals. <laughs> we're working on something special. Better be your leg lifts. Happy, Happy birthday! Louder, please. I'm sure the people in the cafeteria didn't hear you. <laughs> Why did no one tell me? Because you can't keep a secret. Hey, you're the birthday girl? Someone told me to give you this. Ooh, a secret admirer. More like a cigarette admirer. <laughs> they do not need boys right now. But I will accept their gifts. <laughs> We better get to class, yeah? Bye. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Did my girl get into MIT? Cambridge. Well, yeah, that's way closer. Not Cambridge, Ontario, like Cambridge, England, on full scholarship. So you decided? Uh, no, not yet. Only a fool would turn down the home of Stephen Hawking. He will show your girlfriend the wonders of the universe. <laughs> Didn't even tell me you were applying. Breathe, babe. Nothing's 100%. Do you at least have some time to think about it? Let's talk later. Just the two of us. Not even graduated yet. She's already excluding me from her plans. What do I do? Show your girlfriend the wonders of the universe. Uh, the robot isn't wrong. Oh, nice pattern on the button up. I see you've been taking style cues from yours truly. First of all, just so we're clear, you stole this look from me. Mm -hmm. Second, have you seen Miles? Uh, no, I don't think he's coming today. But this is like the fifth class he's missed this week. So, he skips all the time. He didn't used to. He used to be really serious about school. Are you sure we're talking about the same person? <laughs> Work hard, play harder. It was Miles' motto. Well, the boy I'm crazy about is more of a rebel without a cause. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm getting kind of worried about him. Who are you, Maya? Well, she has a point. Miles is moody all the time. OK, well, when did you start noticing different behavior? when he started hanging out with you? Anger, frustration, disillusionment. These are just some of the causes of World War II. You would tell me more about this in your history projects. So, everyone, partner up. You think I'm the problem? You said it, not me. Well, you're wrong. If anything, I'm a good influence on Miles. Says you. What about Wild Water Kingdom? The whole point of this date is to remind Allie about us. Make her see that we should be part of whatever future she's planning. So? So I want something classier than a water park. Dude, if you ever been to Wild Water Kingdom, you wouldn't be saying that. You're so worried. Why don't you just talk to her? Because talking leads to breaking up. I want to strike first with an amazing evening that proves that I should be worth factoring into her future. You need something that says, Mike Dallas, a viable option. Exactly. You know what? I think I got it. 
a hockey game, but in those classy seats where they bring the food to you. I think you have a fan. <laughs> Can I help you, Niner? Uh, no, but maybe I could help you. Excuse me? Your ideas of romance are kind of the worst. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, what do you know about romance? I know girls. You want to be treated right. You want quality time. I'm talking undivided attention. So no amusement parks or sports games. So what would you want a guy to do? I don't know. Candlelit dinner in a quiet restaurant. Nice warm pool. You know what has dinner and pools? Well, Boda Kingdom? <laughs> no. Hotels. Now we're talking. See? There you go. Thanks for the help. Uh... Shay. Powers. Mike Dallas. I know. Better get to booking. Okay, so I may have had ulterior motives when I picked wartime fashions as our project topic. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, I just have this hunch that you'd look crazy sexy in a uniform. Mm, I'm happy to see you're taking your education so seriously. Boys. Hard at work, I see. Actually, we're just putting together a presentation on the um, fashions of war. And um, Miles said that you had... Just give, just give it up. There's, there's no point in talking to him once he's decided to be disappointed in me. Okay. In the words of everyone everywhere, take a chill pill. Your dad was just kidding around. Okay, just please don't. You're making it worse. You sound just like Winston. He thinks I'm the problem. What? What problem? He just seems to think that being with me has caused all these changes in you. You talking to Winston about me? Look, people are noticing things. You're moody, irritable, and you skip class all the time. What is it with you people? Just, just tell me if it's me. Look. Just, you can't be the problem because there is no problem. Are you sure? Yes. All our friends, they're just jealous that we're happy, and they're not. Well, you know how we can prove them wrong? By easing this history project together. Well, then let's go find some uniforms. I called this emergency meeting to share some important news. I got offered a huge movie role starring alongside Ellen Page, and I have to devote myself to it 100%. I love being a cheerleader, but I can't let Ellen down. So. I have to quit the team. <sighs> Hello? Surprise! <laughs> you think we'd let you get away without having a sweet 16? We all pulled together to get you this. It's a bracelet. Lola, you only had to hold it in for like four seconds. <laughs> Each squad member picked a charm. Guys, this is perfect. So don't cry, because when people cry, I... Oh, here it comes. <laughs> I've just never had a surprise party before. Never had friends to throw me a surprise party before. Oh, come, guys. <laughs> So what would you call this meeting about? It's about us and how we're going to win semis. <laughs> You're good at keeping secrets. Dallas, look, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about Cambridge. No, not that. Cambridge is an amazing opportunity, which I support. Then what secret am I keeping? Where are you going to be tomorrow night when you tell your parents you're staying at Claire's? And where will that be exactly? Okay, let me set the scene. <laughs> a romantic dinner in a quiet restaurant. I like, I like. Where we clink glasses and feast on oysters and chocolate-covered strawberries. I love, I love, but one, do you even like oysters? <laughs> and two, why do I have to lie to my parents? Because afterwards, we're spending the night in a hotel. What? It'll be fun, I promise. Rose petals, champagne. No. Why not? It'll be so romantic. Exactly. 
too romantic, and I'm worried that we'll be tempted to spend less time talking and more time... Rocking? Yes, and I'm not ready for that. With me? Because you've done it with other guys. We need to be thinking about our futures. Got it. Got it. Message received. Does it ever hurt to be so wrong all the time? What now? Well, Miles and I talked, and I'm not the problem. He doesn't have a problem. Am I ever ready for presentations today? First up, Miles Hollingsworth and Tristan Milligan. I see a Tristan. Where's Miles? Come on. Fashionably late for a fashion presentation. Clock's ticking, Tristan. Uh, can't we let it tick for just a few more seconds? He'll be here. Seems like you have a problem now. Fine. Um, how about I get started and he'll jump in when he arrives? All right. <clears throat> uh, fashions of World War II, how uniforms help establish status and bonds between soldiers. Um, so, just imagine I'm wearing a fierce Royal Air Force bomber jacket, um, which Miles is on his way here with. And uh, imagine there's silver captain wings pinned right here. And um, if Miles was here, I'd say, Private Miles. And uh, seeing my captain's wings, uh, he'd say, yes, sir, captain. Um, um, sorry, uh, private, I need. OK, let me stop you there. I'm sorry, I'm trying my best. Presentation wasn't the problem. Your choice of partner was. Maybe next time, choose someone a little more reliable. OK, who's next? And now I can't even get my money back because I got the hotel room at a discount price. Wait, so how much are you out? $95 and a girlfriend. No, dude, it's not like she broke up with you. She practically said she doesn't want to have sex with me. That's worse. You waited like a year to date Allie. I'm pretty sure you can wait a little bit longer to give her the business. If it's going to happen, fine. But she doesn't think I'm worth it. And soon she's going to be in England with all those smart guys. We're going to be like, let's talk about science and have a spot of tea. Or she'll be at MIT with those guys. We're going to be like, yeah, let's have an apple to talk about astrophysics and stuff. Whatever, I'm bad at accents. The point is, it's only a matter of time before I am the mayor of Dumpsburg. <laughs> Dude, relax, all right? She's not gonna break up with you. You guys are a perfect match. Told her that. No, oh, crap, man, I gotta go. Keep strong, all right, brother? You shouldn't do that on your own. What do you know, Niner? I know this is about 10 pounds more than your usual, Max. Thanks your last set. I also know it doesn't matter what fancy school your girl goes to. She'll probably dump you regardless. <laughs> yeah. All thanks to your great advice. You know what, next time, why don't you mind your own damn business? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to help. I overreacted. I just don't want to lose out. Whatever. I get it. You know, actually, I don't. Why would you want to be with someone who makes you miserable? She doesn't. She does, even though you're the best athlete in this joint. Me? Played junior A hockey, captain of the basketball team. Plus, you're funny. I tell a few jokes. Those accents earlier? I died. Anything else you like? You're smart, and that smile. This? That. Basically, the only guy worth crushing on in this entire school. I wish my girlfriend felt like that. What the hell? <sighs> we need to shut down to grassy nudes. No, hello, nice shirt. Hello, nice shirt. Liar. Why do you want to shut it down? We're raking in the money. Someone knows it's us. One of your girls screwed up. No. Then how'd someone figure it out? I don't know. They just did. Or they're bluffing. Look, if no one screwed up, there's nothing to be worried about. My system is flawless, untraceable. But as long as you can explain where all the money is coming from, we're still golden. And what if this person isn't bluffing? 
then I have to quit cheerleading so he won't expose us, but I can't. I don't want to. Power chair is the only positive thing I've got at Degrassi. I have friends. More than that. Sisters. Stop. You're gonna make me cry. Come on, Grace. We've made enough money now anyway. Zoe, no one knows about you and Oof Chat. And no one will if we shut it down. Please. <sighs> this is seriously the nicest thing I've ever done for anyone. Thank you. Why weren't you at school? Oh, dude, you are so loud right now. You promised you'd come to class to do our history presentation. Why would I want to go to class? That's where all those judgy idiots who judge me are. Because when you don't show up, I'm forced to do a solo show where all those judgy idiots judge me. Are you getting high right now? Want some? No. No, I have to get back to school, and you should too. But this is way more fun. <laughs> Smoking dope by yourself is fun. Well, now who's the judgy idiot? It all makes sense now. Skipping class, being distant. What, are you, like, addicted to weed? <coughs> no, I'm serious. I think you have a problem. Hey, my only problem is that this is my last joint, so... Bye, it's Progy Day in the calf. Progies can wait. We need to talk. <sighs> I'm sorry. What, for almost making out with a niner? She has a crush. Lots of girls do. But apparently I'm repulsive to the only girl I want to be with. So you know what? Maybe we should just break up right now. Is that what you want? That's what you want, no? You freaked at the idea of us having sex. And do you think that that means that I don't like you? I think it means you're not willing to commit. Sex does not equal commitment. Plus, I don't think you think we're strong enough to stay here for. Actually, I think we're stronger than that, Dallas. I think we could handle long distance. Why do you think I've been trying to talk to you to plan our future together? Seriously? Have you even thought about playing hockey in Europe? They have leagues, they pay good money, and what about coaching, kinesiology programs? I actually hadn't thought. Of course not, because all you can think about is whether or not we're having sex. I'm sorry for wanting to have sex with you. Look, I want you to want to have sex with me. Then I am for real confused right now. <laughs> hey, look, sex is complicated for me, Dallas, and I've let it mess things up way too many times for me, and I can't let that happen again. So you're not bailing on me? Not if you have a plan for the future, and one that isn't all about bedroom business. You were right. Miles has a problem. Oh, am I having deja vu? A weed problem. It's like me and Beyonce's new album. He's obsessed. <laughs> what is he in danger of over snacking? A hearty heart. No, I looked up the symptoms of excessive marijuana use. Paranoia, depression, apathy. Oh, well, we need to do something about it. Like hold an intervention. Could work. No. Miles will hate us. This is a bad idea. Well, do you have a better one? Okay. Intervention it is. No, oh, yeah. Right there. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Do you really think this highlight reel will work? You are one of the best hockey players in one of the best leagues in the world. You're still in good shape. Someone needs you. Getting paid to play hockey would be unreal. And if I play in Europe, I'd be close to you. If I go to Cambridge, and if I stay in North America, there are smaller pro leagues here too, right? Thanks for not giving up on me. Even though I was blinded by the booty. <laughs> <laughs> so you won't be mad that we're not having sex tonight? Now that I know that we're gonna try to be together, I can wait as long as you can. Still, we shouldn't let this big bed go to waste. Pillow fight! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you ready? Little... <laughs> Guys, we're finally getting him actual Panther as our mascot? No. We've made all the money we need, so I've shut down Degrassi Nudes. Oh, thank God. It's over? 
But I was just perfecting my angles. Well, now you can perfect your form because we need to focus on winning semis. Formation people. Girls, we set phones on silent during practice. Sorry, that's me. I know about Umtchat. Duh, it's a very popular app. Who sent this? Hey, I got a weird message too. What's it say? Kick Zoe off the team or tell everybody about your Umtchat nudes.